My name is Nicole Richardson, and I'm from Authors Press. Today is October 14th, 2022. Uh, welcome to another fantastic virtual interview where I'm gathered here today with Cecily Watson Kellen, the author of Becoming the Admiral's Wife, a dual memoir of a called pair. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your book as well? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And um, whoever is watching um, readings, uh, I uh, grew up in Pennsylvania, Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, and uh, uh, after college I went off to uh, Peru in the Peace Corps. I was one of uh, five children and um, had a happy childhood and um, well, my book tells my story because um, there, there's, there's a memoir there that um, tells about marriages and divorces and ultimately um, about love. Now, uh, this is actually not the first question on my list, but I feel like it's very relevant. Um, is your book a love letter? Yes, my book is a love letter. Okay, and it's a, a love letter to your husband, I assume. It's a love letter to my readers, actually, telling about my love, uh, about how God loves me and how he took me out of um, great trial and gave me the blessing of my husband. And so my husband being the blessing from God um, is, is the love story. When you said, yes, it is a love story, I immediately assumed it was about or to your husband. So that's really interesting to know that it's not to your husband. No, it's not to. It's the, the book is called, uh, the subtitle, the, the book is called Becoming the Admiral's Wife. And my husband is the Admiral. And the subtitle is A Dual Memoir of a Called Pair. And it's that's because... He wrote his memoir, and I included excerpts of his memoir in my book. And uh, we both have have callings, and we both have accomplished a lot of things. So there was a lot to write about. Now that you've um, published your memoir, what's next for you? I will I will keep keep going with this story. Um, I've, I've established a publishing company called Kellen Legacy LLC and a website uh, kellenlegacy.com and so we will keep uh, our stories going and I'm also living in a small town and enjoying the people and have started a, a writing group there and I think that we're going to make it a group project and we're going to we're hopefully write a book uh, with that group. I've always enjoyed uh, group projects like that, especially, well, I take that back. I enjoy group projects when they're creative. This is going to be very creative. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yes. Um, you mentioned the Kellen legacy. What exactly is that? I married into a, a, a family of uh, immigrants from German immigrants from Russia and the husband that I have is um, quite accomplished going from the dust storm of Oklahoma the depression and into the Naval Academy and then advancing through the ranks of, of officers and becoming um, an admiral with lots of um, uh, exploration and, and uh, naval um, accomplishments and he has a there's a museum that has uh, his memorabilia in it in 
near Oklahoma in uh, Lipscomb, Texas. And the Kellen Legacy is now a website that we can keep the stories going. That's our, our uh, tagline, keeping the stories going. Why did you decide to write a book in the first place? I decided because I had the urge. <laughs> And it was like I was pregnant with a book. I, I just had to give birth to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's how it works out for a lot of people. They just can't stop thinking about that damn idea. Right. It won't go away. And so right. they have to write it. Right. That's actually really neat. I think that's really cool. It's almost like your idea was like, Hello, I'm still here. <laughs> yes. Happening yes. on your little brain walls. That's really cool. Uh, how did you begin the process of writing your book? I started by uh, getting books about writing, reading them. And there are lots of books about writing your own story. And we all have a story. And I wanted to write it well. and. So I took five years to do it. But to get my material together, I gathered old journals, uh, letters that I had uh, kept, uh, calendars, uh, photos, um, talking to family, um, just gathering files, um, a chronology of my life. I wrote that down and to try to keep things uh, marching, marching on for the story, and um, I first got permission from my husband to to pull aside and write the book, and uh, we we turned the guest room into a writing room, and I took two file cabinets. We took the door off of the 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 closet in the guest room and put that across the file cabinets for a table for me and I put my computer there, got my bowl of chocolates and proceeded to write for five years <laughs> off and on, gaining 10 pounds. And but, I love. <laughs> yes. It came from chocolate. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's great. Um, and now, uh, this is kind of not one of my interview questions, but I would like to know for myself, um, is your book, uh, Becoming the Admiral's Wife, is that the only book that you have published? Yes, that's the only book I have published. Okay, okay. Um, and what is the title of your current book? That, well, that is my book. It's, it's Becoming okay. the Admiral's Wife, A Dual Memoir of a Called Pair. Now, I'm in the process of getting it republished with a new cover and uh, a new printing company and a new website. That would be nice. See, all fresh, all new. That's always the best. Yes. Um, what do you want your readers to learn or understand or think after reading your book? I want them to, to realize that when you go through trials, which I did, uh, failed marriages, or feeling like you've been rejected or disappointed in life, um, it, it wasn't what you thought it would be, um, that God loves us. He, he created each one of us, and He has a plan for us to prosper us and not to harm us, the Bible says. I, I love reading the Bible. I love learning about how God sees us and and it's different from how mankind sees each other. God sees us in a more, in a more pure way and when we start to see ourselves as God sees us, um, it doesn't matter that we've been divorced several times. Um, and he, uh, he blesses us. And so the, my book is to give people hope um, and to read about a happy childhood and read about an ultimate happy marriage 
and to be inspired by it. That's a really nice message. Uh, just overall love, inspiration, motivation. That's a good message to try and convey. Um, where can your readers purchase your book? It's on our website, which is www.kellenlegacy.com. That's K-E-L-L-N, legacy.com. Is your book available on Amazon also? I hope it, I hope it is. The, another, another publication of it, I think, is still there. And I'm still working on getting the new book on Amazon. Okay, okay, that's exciting. Yeah. Yes. Um, is there anything else you'd like to talk about or mention before we wrap this up? I just enjoyed talking to you and <laughs> meeting you. And I, I, um, I want to greet all other writers and book readers. And um, it's 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 a wonderful, difficult challenging, exciting, <laughs> entertaining world. So uh, thank you Lots for having me on. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I really enjoyed talking to you and um, thank you for having very uh, emotionally, but like intimate emotional responses. I always appreciate that. It always feels so much more lovely. Good, good. And for my final question, I'd just like to know, is this the first time you've worked with Authors Press? Yes. Okay. Um, and is there any advice or feedback that you could give for us? No, I, I um, you've been very helpful with the projects that the, this project that you offered me. And, um, and I, um, I like the, the idea that it's going to be on YouTube and be available. I'll put this interview on my website, and uh, um, it's a good resource. And I'm, I appreciate that you reached out and grabbed my attention and got me to do this interview. I'm glad that you were interested in this interview. Um, I feel like doing these interviews really gives authors the spotlight that they need to be like, hey, I've got a book, look at it, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I, being able to give authors the opportunity to spread their wings and get comfortable enough to fly is, makes me want to cry how happy I am. Oh. I'm honored to be able to convey this opportunity for you. Thank you. Um, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for meeting with me. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Authors Press and we're more than happy to help. This has been Cecily Watson Kellen and Nicole Richardson from Authors Press. Thank you so much for tuning in.